Hi everyone and welcome to another video on building the dream Portugal and in today's video I thought I would take you on a tour of the property in Portugal. So we're going to start at this corner edge of the property here. You see that's a gate there leading onto the property. So I have access road here, uh, access path should I say to that gate which is actually on the neighbours. So this is a little corner here. It goes all the way here, along. That's a pomegranate tree. That's an orange tr uh, lemon tree. It's about what, four or five meters tall, full of lemons. Down here. And I don't know if you can see. It goes all the way down to the end there. Let's start walking. Remember guys to like and subscribe to the channel. It will help me out loads. You can see some orange trees. On the land. We'll go on the other side a bit later on. And this is the house from the outside. Another access gate here. Access gate here. And another access gate here. Now, this is where it gets interesting because from this bit here, this little rectangle. Where the weeds have been cleared up until this fence just there doesn't belong to me, it belongs to someone else. But luckily, over here in Portugal, they have the law whereby if they ever want to sell it, they have to offer it to me first. So, where the weeds are, just on the other side, just there, that's my land. So the neighbour's land ends here, and my land starts again here at this fence. They've got fed to the gate. So from here all the way down is mine again. So let's see how many olive trees there are. That's three there in a row. Another three in a row. Six. Another three. Nine. That's another three, that's 12. Another three, that's 15. Another three, 18. <laughs> oh, there's a neighbor's dog. Oh, hello, doggy. <laughs> another three here, which is 21. Another three, 24. Another three here. 27, another three, 30, another three in a row, 33, another three, 36, 39, 42, <laughs> 45, 48 <laughs> Oh, his neighbour's out with his dog It's a husky So that's the back gate on the corner of the land And it carries on Carries on to just there, and then from there all the way back down to the end is the land. You can just see the barn just down the end there. 
right so I've shown you guys the outside of the property now it's time to go and show you the inside of the property so if we start the video over there in the corner so we're gonna now go from the inside into the barn show you around the barn and the other bit of land before going inside the house all right so that's the gate that we saw at the beginning of the video and that's got the shared access along that path on the other side of the wall that's a pomegranate tree that I showed you at the beginning from this side of it it needs trimming, I haven't trimmed that yet properly I just cut it a bit so I could clear the weeds from around here that's the lemon tree it's easily five meters tall and it's loaded with lemons this is another orange tree there I've trimmed this one back already a bit and another one and that one there and in this tree here I believe it's a Sharon fruit Hello. It's absolutely jam-packed with fruit on it. There's a pomegranate one. There's almost nothing. But then none of this has been watered. And then on this pile of rock, you have some trees growing from it, which will probably need to be cut down. As you can see from the inside of the property, you can tell that the wall used to be an old stone wall and they've just added some bricks and rendered it from the outside. I guess that's the bricks from the old stone wall, I'm guessing. Okay. Let's carry on going. Yeah, this pile of weed here is from all this area that's been cut it's incredible especially how tall it is it's taller than me the pile i'm 5'9 and this is what 6'2 maybe 6'3 and at least 3 meters 4 meters wide as well 3 meters wide i would say incredible now we're going through here And this is the barn. And this pile of weed here is from just this bit out here. You can see the barn here. So we have got a resident owl living in the barn. It lives in that corner up the top there. And sometimes it can be seen perched up there as well that's yeah, its pellets there that it poops out and there's more of it just there we go in this is barrier don't ask me how structurally sound this barn is i don't think it is that structurally sound I mean, it looks like it's made from stone and stuff, but it's not proper stone. How can I show you? I'll show you here on this bit here. So this is a giant block that you can see up around the top, and within it they wedge stones like that in it, all the way around. But you can just scratch it and it crumbles so it looks like some sort of chalk loads and loads of blocks of chalk I think that is, I'm not an expert and you can see it all the way along But the barn is huge, it's 90 square meters. That's the footprint 
all the way around in here. So you could easily turn this into a three bedroom property. Like that. And this is where I've got some bags of cement and stuff sand stored. It'll be interesting to know. So, these bags of cement, they've gone rock hard. Even though they were covered up with a plastic. Can they still be used? I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments. So that's the pool from Project Heatwave. <laughs> and this is the land on this side. See? My boundary goes right to where the corner of the barn is. And it goes, carries on going down to the end. About 147 meters. And then where the wall is is mine. On the other side of the wall and where that fence is, belongs to a neighbour. But they haven't got planning permission there. They can't build anything there. So they can't do anything with it. And if they do sell it, they have to sell it to me first. So let's keep going up. I'm going to just pile the stones. Hey, ignore that hole there, that's for a different project. And the land goes, carries on going all the way down to the end there. And where those blocks, concrete blocks are, just past it on your right hand side, that's where my land opens up more. And I don't know if you can see it today, but all the way down there, that's the city of Santarin that you can see. Right. So, that was the outside. Now let's start with the house. So this is the house from the other side. And you notice a different colour here. Not the previous owner, but the owners before that. They had lean-tos here. And they had a lean-to up there. And they've just taken it all down. And this is it little outside storage area where you have a place for an oven there with a chimney and this is the outdoor bread oven I mean it's never been used by me so I don't know if it can be used or not needs a bit more investigating It would be great if it could be used. So it's from in here, where in the other video I told you guys that some stuff was stolen. And then from the barn as well, I had some posts and they were nicked as well. Oh well. Right, time to go inside. So now we're filming the inside of the house, so I'm going to walk you through the house. Ignore the mess, we're still trying to pack everything away and organise everything. So that's the main door as you come in, and this is like a hallway. At the moment it's a multifunctional hallway. It's acting as a hallway. See some shoes down there. And a bedroom. I'll explain why later. Alright, so through here now is the kitchen. So when we got this place, it didn't have a kitchen. We put this kitchen in two years ago. And I can show you where the old kitchen used to be. So now that's the staircase going up. We're going to go upstairs. So let's now go upstairs. Old staircase, bit of character. However, very, very, very low ceiling. I'll show you how low in a second. So I don't know if you can see how low the ceiling is on the staircase, but I'm standing out on the step and that's another how high it is. 
and down there this is really low I guess this is where they added the second floor so this is the upstairs landing area there was an old fireplace there but I bricked it up stop all the bugs and stuff coming in small window and this here is where the previous owners used to have their kitchen I mean I haven't ripped it out yet and from here we go into the bathroom as you can see the bathroom isn't insulated small tiny bathroom here we have a shower so into another room here which is like a wardrobe area and then another room here yeah, let's have a look at the views I don't know if you can see but there's a fire going on at the moment over there So this is where we could have put the bedroom, is here in this area, but no, we put it downstairs because there's actually no hallway. So you go from one room into the next room. This is another room, another window. That's the view out of the room. And then you go from here, there's another room here. We have to look at that side of this window here. Higher up, and that's the city of Santa Angels down the end there. And this is another room here. So, as you can see, there's no actual hallway. So, we're debating on building a hallway along here, blocking this off, and then turning it from how it is now kind of mismatch into a four bedroom and then bringing out the bathroom till about here so this is where the current bathroom is here and we're going to bring it out to where the sink is and stuff where the hallway would start And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come. Cheers, see ya.